Now, when a tournament as big as the Confederations Cup comes around, anyone who's anyone in football media can be found. We've found ourselves a uh, quick interview with Gabriele Marcotti of ESPN fame, legend. Now, let's talk some football, let's get straight into it. We're here for the Confederations Cup. I mean, I think the key thing about the, the Confed Cup is that yes. it's, it's a tune-up. You know, you figure out where you are versus where you want to be 12 months from now. It's an important competition, people want to win it. Spain especially, very clear about the fact that they want to win it, already being European champions and, and, and world champions. And of course, it's huge for Brazil as well. Scolari going into it, you know, only two wins and seven. Um, but, but I think overall, you know, this is a, your dress rehearsal, this is your dry run, yeah. both for the country and for the teams that are participating. Do you, do you think that our clubs put pressure on our, the players to take it easy? For no, not at all. Jackson? I think that's no. just a myth. That's just all a myth? I, I, think, uh, I think it's a bit of a problem in the sense that, you know, the, the media is often dominated by a certain type of English media. And because England have never played in the Confederations Cup, because of course to play in the Confederations yeah. Cup you need to actually win something yeah. and that's not something they're very good at doing. Um, you know, they're kind of like, what is this, another tin pot tournament, right? And, yeah. they, and that's kind of the attitude. And, um, but, but no, I mean, you just need to walk around. I mean, you've been here in Brazil, yeah. you see how huge it is for them. Uh, opportunity to spend a little bit of time with some of the Spanish players. They're, they really, you know, there's a steely determination about them. Um, this is this is a big tournament. It's you know. They're, so they do want to win this. The Spanish national team World Cup winners. They want this in the bag. Yeah, I think everybody yeah. wants it. Remember, unlike the World Cup, certainly in, in the group stage of the World Cup, you'll have big teams and you'll have little teams. Here, with all due respect to Tahiti, once you get past them, you have like a major star in in every team. Yeah. You know whether it's. Uh, uh, well, whether it's uh, Kagawa or, 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 or Honda for Japan, or um, you, know, you look at Nigeria, John Obi Mikel, um, and then of course Uruguay with Suarez and Cavani, and Spain and Italy, you know, everywhere. You don't get that in the World Cup, yeah. certainly until the knockout phase. Has there been a particular moment you've seen that even you've gone, wow, that's passion, or that's, that's really is uh, taking me back? I think from a fan perspective, I've been struck by the Japan fans, the fact that there's so many here, um, you know, I'll be seeing Japan for the second time when they play okay. Italy. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I've flown with them on several flights and, you know, they've, they've got their iPad apps out, you know, preparing statistics, they've got big posters, programs and stuff, everybody in their shirts, you know. Uh, we know Japan is passionate about football, um, may not have the biggest history in, in, in football, but mm. they're intense when it comes to it. And it's just so great to see them out in force. And so with all those fans coming out for the Confederations Cup, what do you think the turnout is going to be for the World Cup next year? Do you think we're looking at possibly the, the biggest ever turnout? If you look at the size of the stadiums, um, these are big, big stadiums, certainly relative to South Africa. So I think the, the aggregate crowd um, you know, could easily set a new record. Are we looking at possibly the best World Cup of all time? Early to say and best is subjective, but uh, being Italian, I'll say, yeah, if Italy win, it could well be the best World Cup of all time. <laughs> or Australia, for that point, you never know. Hold your breath. You can only hold, yeah, exactly. Cross your fingers. Cool, Thank man. you so much, Gabriele. Really appreciate okay. your time.